Bianco Celesti, Gatti returned in defence, also McKenny, and most importantly, Blahovic is back from suspension. And Belotti, the former Torino captain, may well get his gears going here tonight. It is the Bianconeri to kick us off. It is Juventus with the chance to put some distance between themselves and fourth place Bologna here tonight. Decent touch by Vlahovic. Cambiazzo outside of the boot. Kostic allowed to run into the box, chipping it up. And Milenkovic back in. McKinney makes a simple finish, but he was clearly offside. A little bit hesitant there, Fiorentina in defence. They moved the ball so well. Fantastic touch by Vlaovic towards the Cambiasu shot again. Bremer, Gatti, Danilo as well. Second only to Milan for goals from corners this season. As Chiesa kept it low, wasn't a good contact. And Bonaventura rather miscuing his touch. Another corner to follow. As you can see, the size of the Juventus boys. Inside the penalty box, that's probably why Barak has been picked. Taking that corner short as Chiesa up against Bonaventura. Kostic opens the angle on his left and back post. Crossbar and in by Vlahovic. But it touched one of his teammates on the way through. And the frustration of the Serbian number nine, understandable. Yeah, it was. And then Bremer touched the ball with his... Back here, that's why he's been called off. His last outing, game with Genoa. There is ironic words to the ref as the cross comes in. Took a deflection, corner kick. Got him a second yellow. And more defending to do here for Fiorentina. Yeah, Juventus already shown the first 20 minutes. Uh, they can hit the viola. The dead balls uh, situation. Bremer and Gatti have contributed most of those goals from corners. Swung in well, good leap off the post, and there is Gatti. The defensive duo combine. Bremer off the upright, Federico Gatti right in front. Can see a good delivery as usual by Kostic and Bremer. Fantastic and look, Mandragora is there. Play Gatti on, easy top in, and Juventus are leading. The build-up was whether Vlahovic and Chiesa could combine to score against Fiorentina, but it's uh, the back line that's sharpest at the moment for Juventus. And uh, excellent reaction as Gatti claims his fourth goal. McKenney finds the support of Cambiazzo. Chiesa against Coyote. Thinking about the cross. Curls it in. And McKenny got there. And arriving was Dusan Vlahovic. For the first time, he scores against his former side. Mark. That's Chiesa. Find on the back post here. McKenny was very good in the air. Look, Vlahovic. Look. Immediately attacking the, the ball. And that's a goal from a striker is found again his scoring boots running uh, over the shoulder of his national teammate Milenkovic to slam the ball home for number 16 of the season and it's a goal he's waited for making his breakout as a player this could be offside and it is a McKinney yeah probably is a shorter Yes, they didn't care. It was all about Juventus. Uh, Fiorentina didn't have a single chance so far. They're 11th in the league, standing to points on the road. Just four victories to go with four draws. Six defeats as a foul on the far side means a chance for the direct free kick in. Bonaventura going down. As we see uh, Prade and Berdiso. Driven, Mandragora has got a taste for the long-distance attempt. So does Biragi. Stairs, they had it covered. Just watched it wide. That's really the first shot we've seen from Fiorentina. Yeah, from long, long distance. Biragi tried to hit the ball like a 
Juninho per Mambucano. Here this Mandragor trying to get after the wonderful goal he scored against Atalanta. That was an absolute uh, belter to give them uh, the advantage in the, uh, the two-legged tie. Piraghi hasn't scored since the opening day of the season away at Genoa. The very first goal of this campaign for his club here in the first half. And the whistle goes, it smiles for Juventus as Federico Gatti scored his fourth goal this season. Waiting for the one who can score 15, 20 goals. Bonaventura swings it in, but only two men in the box. Vlahovic down, McKenney returns. Touch and support is there for Dusan Vlahovic. Federico Chiesa against Milenkovic. Manages to get the attempt on target through the legs of his former teammate. That they have dominated down the years, certainly in the recent memory, as Ranieri cuts it out. Now Barak has an angle for the shot, and he just chips it straight at Cesne. Yeah, great defending by Ranieri, anticipating Vlaovic. Here Barak had to do better. That's an easy, easy save by Chesney from a promising position. Just couldn't quite open his uh, body up, the uh, Czech Republic international. It was 11 goals he scored with Verona in the 21-22 campaign. He was uh, capable of putting them in from just about with Juventus as the home team. Usually the sort of numbers you'd expect more is you're the away side. Yeah, but that's the way that Allegri played most uh, of the season. Happy to, to score one goal and uh, win the game, but you never know what's going to happen. One one chance will be enough for Fiorentina. Nico, Gonga, Nico Gonzalez. Bonaventura. Maxim Lopez. Nico Gonzalez. Curling it off the bar. Incredible stop from Cesne. Incredible save. Out of this world, we see Karnaseki last week producing a fabulous. Oh, that's incredible, outstanding. And Sotil puts it back in. Beltran trying to have a second go. Nico Gonzalez finally lights up the attack. The energies Juventus got will be focused on the, the Italian Cup, the second leg against Lazio. Sotil into Beltran. Shoots some distance and goes well wide. Interesting as well, Beltrani. Where's the number nine? But they've realized that he's actually better almost as a number 10. Genoa, as we see Dodo coming back in, he's not shown himself to be at 100% fitness. A good game from Coyote this evening, as uh, the Brazilian still trying to get back to 100% after uh, missing nearly the entire campaign through injury. And he wants to, to have uh, a right back more. Uh, Offensive, more technical. Milinkovic lays off. Maxim Lopez, Beltran, and Unsola. An example of the confusion. Federico Gatti not involved in this final moment. Alcaraz into the wall. Play on. Moise Kim. Tight angle. And he uh, lashes it into the stands. As uh, the referee blows the final whistle. Dusan Blahovic disappointed. Federico Gatti elated. As for the third time this season, he gets the winning goal for Juventus.